Hello, my name is Peter Chalmers, and this is my video on surgery for an elbow that can, continues to dislocate over and over again. In this surgery, we're going to make an incision on the outside of the elbow here, and what we're doing is repairing the lateral collateral ligament. We're also going to reconstruct and use a graft. I've already, already harvested the graft, and I'm not going to show that part. You can watch my ulnar collateral ligament reconstruction video to see how we do that. So here we're working through the muscle layer and finding our way down to the ligament. The ligament is going to be one layer here below the muscle. This shows us the lower arm bone where the ligament attaches. We're going to continue our dissection here so that we can get the ligament completely exposed. And here I'm elevating a little bit of the muscle off the surface of the ligament so that I can see down to the ligament. Here's the ligament itself. You can see how lax it is. You can see there's a little hole in it. And this tissue is supposed to be very taut. There's even a little loose body here underneath the ligament that I'm removing. So that tissue is not sufficient to stabilize the elbow, and that's why it keeps dislocating. So we're going to need to reconstruct that. So I'm going to take that tissue from the lower arm bone to the upper arm bone. And um, the first thing we're going to do here is there's something different in this particular patient. In this particular patient, there's actually a little defect in the cartilage that you can see right here. That's that red spot. And here we're going to actually put in a graft. My partner, Dr. Travis Mack, comes to help me with that. Now the graft is in place. Um, that's not usual, but that's because this patient has had so many dislocations, he's damaged the cartilage. We add that graft. Now we're ready to do our ligament reconstruction. So the first thing we need to do is drill holes on the lower arm bone side. So this is me using the drill. We'll drill two holes and connect the two together to create what's called a tunnel. And then we're going to take our graft that I've prepared earlier from the forearm. Again, it's a, it's a tendon called the palmaris longus that you don't need. And we're going to pass it through that hole. So first we'll get all that bone dust out of there. And then we're going to use this suture on a needle, and the needle will bend just a little bit so that it'll fit perfectly between those two holes. So we pass that into one hole, and then I'll be able to grasp it from the other hole here. Because I've bent it to be exactly the same radius of curvature as the distance between these two holes. So that obviously takes a little bit of practice, but I've gotten good at it. So you can take that out, and then now I have one suture passing from one hole to the other. I use that suture to tie around the sutures that go into my graft. I pull that through the tunnel right there, and then I pull the graft itself through the tunnel right there. Now I've got my graft lined up, and the next step is going to be to repair the native ligament. So I'm going to take that tissue and pass sutures through it, and I'm going to use two sutures, and there's a, a pattern here of locking stitches. It's called a crack out that I'm going to place into this tissue. I'm going to place two of them up and down. This is me facing the final one, so you can see that creates this kind of quilted pattern of sutures through all that tissue right there. That I'm going to pull then back up to the upper arm bone side where it's torn from. So we're going to prepare on the upper arm bone side to be able to cut our um, cut our tunnel here. Our tunnel here is very specific where it is. I have to be very careful. This has this is the hardest part of the whole surgery. It's got to be perfectly placed. I like that spot. It's right in the center of the curvature of the capitellum there. We'll aim that to come out the back of the upper arm bone. You can see that exiting right there. And then I'll put in a clamp because I'm going to create another little Y within that tunnel to be able to pass my graft through. So I'll drill then and once I hit the clamp, I know that those things will connect, get all that bone dust out of there. And then we're going to use this instrument to pass sutures through those tunnels. So you see I use this as a passing suture, pull that through the tunnel I've drilled. And then we'll bend this little passer so that it passes through the other little Y in the tunnel. Pass that through the Y right there. And then use that to pass another passing stitch right here. And now I've got two passing stitches placed. I've got my ligament repair sutures placed, I've got my graft placed, and I can use those sutures to pass my graft and my ligament repair sutures through those tunnels. So here's passing through the back one. You can see the sutures there pulling through, and then we'll be passing through the one on the side. Um, you can see those sutures passing through right here. And then I'll even up the ends of my graft and make sure they're pulled out the end. And you can see there I've got two ends of the graft there. Now we're going to tie our ligament repair sutures to completely stabilize the elbow. So you see me there carefully tying. We'll even use this clamp to make sure our knot is perfectly tight. And here I'm going to have a sped up version of me tying. You can see we put in six knots on top of this to make sure it's totally, absolutely, completely stable. Once those are completely in, we'll cut that suture and that's our ligament repair. First suture placed. We'll place a, do, do another one. We have two ligament repair sutures to be extra sure that we've got the ligament repaired. So get that one tied, that's cut then. And once that's completed, you can see I have complete stability now the elbow. There's zero signs of instability. Now I tie the graft itself to each other. So this is both a repair and a reconstruction. So here's the ends of the graft being tied together. We'll cut that suture and then 
Now the elbow is totally stable. So you can see full range of motion in the elbow, full flexion, full extension. And there's, if I try and rock it, and you see I'm grinding so hard it's even moving my head and the camera on the head, um, but zero signs here of instability or further dislocation. So now we'll sew the graft ends together in addition to the prior sutures to be sure that they'll heal. We'll sew the graft limbs to each other in what's called the yoke stitch to try and bring that draft tissue spread out over the ligament itself, confirm once again that the kinematics of the elbow look good. And with this, we're essentially done. Thank you so much.